All right, it's time to learn some Linear Lydia, the Queen of Blue Sparks herself. Now, I have to redo this video again for the second time because of patch 1.06.02. For those of you that don't know, there has been a nerf to Political Storm. Now, you might be wondering why, and I can't really show it anymore because the combo is gone. It was kind of a cool combo. It was very specific as well, so I don't know why they felt the need to remove this. So what you could do at the wall is that, Heaven and Earth 1. And you see that Tazia, he kind of is on the floor, but not exactly. You can actually still hit him there. So what you could do here was... Oh, the input is you could political storm and pick them up off the floor. Ah, I must take yeah, there. So now it no longer picks them up off the floor. What you could do there was political storm, heat dash, and then political storm again. It's it's hyper specific as well. So I don't know why they felt the need to remove that is kind of dumb. For example, if you didn't have one of Lydia's stacks and you were just in heat like this, you you don't get it. You don't get the heat dash after that. You have to have Lydia's heat state. Uh, where's the heat state thing? At one. You have to have her heat state at one at least and have your active heat in order to pull this off in the first place. Oh, God. and the timing of it is just... Yeah, like there. So I don't see why they felt the need to remove that. that. That was extremely dumb. Although there was a combo here from, well, on this stage, it's from midstream. Oh my god, I dropped it. No. Whenever I start recording. So you could do it from here. That combo, well, prior to the patch, that combo would deal... I think it was like 117 or 118 or something. Yeah. But again, that's spending your entire, heat, well, your heat dash. That's you also having three stacks of Lydia's heat state. And the right distance and everything for this to work out for you to get that combo. It was hyper specific. So again, I don't know why they felt the need to remove that, but that does change up some of the stuff that I was doing in the original Learning Lydia video because I mentioned that thing a lot and quite a few of the combos and things. So now I have to redo the video without that in there. But anyway, firstly, I do want to talk about Lydia's low attacks. They suck. They, they really suck. <laughs> a lot of her low attacks suck. That's kind of her, one of her major weaknesses, I guess. Uh, going into stance on block, turn off heat for a second, going into stance on block is awful, you die for it. Uh, what was the other one? Yeah, one, two, two. Yeah, like that, you're minus eight. Even this as well, it says minus five. But if I hold back, I'm suddenly minus 20 because I'm trying to block. So yeah, going into stances on block can kill you, except for maybe down forward two and three plus four. They are both neutral, which means you can block. So anytime you're going to stance, make sure you're using one of those two, because if you use something like this, you die. So yeah, just to show this off, even if I go into stance, I try to do anything here, I get launched. However, there are some weird stuff with Lydia as well. Like, for example, we do the exact same thing again. But because I'm in heat, I can heaven and earth my way out of that. But same scenario again. But this time if I set Kazia to dick jab, I can't go into heaven and earth. Same scenario again. If I set Kazia to do Fujin, you can't heaven and earth out of that either. But you can heaven and earth out of while standing too for Kazia. So it's kind of, it kind of depends on how minus you are. So it's pretty specific things with Lydia and well, it, when you're in heat state, and what you can do with your stances, and what you can get out of, and what you can't. Like there, you can, you can have an earth, obviously, you're plus five. But, you get dick jabbed out of <laughs> Like, heaven and earth is just so dumb. It's <laughs> A lot of Lydia stance stuff just straight up loses to a dick jab. And what's even crazier is this plus one. 
I, I, I pressed that for a Wolf Stance 4. Plus one, I get launched. Plus one, I get launched. Plus one, I get launched. Plus one, I trade at plus one. 15 frame move trades with Kazuya's electric there. That is, that is insane. So you see how her stances aren't necessarily super powerful. Like there's a lot of specific dumb things that can happen with the stances. Which I guess is kind of good in a way because it's it's somewhat balanced, but at the same time it feels like you don't have an option besides block. So with Lydia's stances, it's super it can be super oppressive when you land a hit and go into the stance. But on block, sometimes pretty iffy, even though you're you're plus five when you land a forward forward too. <laughs> I'll get into it when we cover the stances. It's just kinda dumb, honestly. But yeah. You can be super oppressive with the stances on hit because you're much more plus. Your opponent has way less stuff that they can do to you there. But for the most part, the, the stances the stances kind of kind of suck. But Lydia is still pretty fun. They did nerf her damage now, which kind of sucks. Again, that that stuff was hyper specific to pull off, so I don't understand why. But she is still pretty fun, and the blue sparks are always satisfying. So, let's go over some of her good moves, starting with Jab, your one input. Jab is always good. Lydia's, though, is deceptive in that it has kind of wacky range. It looks like it's gonna hit, but sometimes it just, yeah, you see that? It has deceptively bad range. So do keep that in mind. I've whiffed that more times than I want to admit in ranked, but yeah. <laughs> your Jab is still good. 10 frame plus 8 on hit, and it is plus one on block. You also have one two, which is plus four on hit. Minus three on block, which I guess kind of makes up for the, the jab having a sucky range, I guess. But you can probably still get hit while trying to do a one two. So do keep that in mind. You do have one two four, which is kind of nice to throw from time to time because that last hit is kind of pretty delayable as well. The last hit by itself is plus three on hit. Doesn't really do anything. As you saw, it's minus 13 on block because it's not natural. However, the counter hit knocks down for a guaranteed follow-up forward forward 3. Next you have 2-2, two, two, which is a double high 11 frame. On hit goes into cat stands at plus 11, which is pretty nice. On block, you're kind of fucked. Minus 4 into starts. You, it's again one of those things where you're just in starts. So right here, I try to do something in stance, get launched, get launched again. All you can do is block at that point. Next up we have 2-4, which is high mid, since this is double high, the opponent may try to duck if they see this coming, so you can do the mid option instead. On hit, it's plus 4. On block, minus 8, which isn't all that bad, actually. So it is, it is just there to help out with, instead of going for 2-2 two, two in a stance, you can do 2-4. 3-2! Two, 15 frame double high attack. As you can see, you can blue spark it as well, or not. Blue spark is just there for more damage. This is also one of your, your main launches. It's just, you're going to probably be using up forward 4 instead, because it's kind of quicker to do it, I guess. Because there's, uh, there are some scenarios where this may whiff for you. Like if your opponent recovers slightly Kalchik or something. On block, this 3 input is minus 9, which isn't terrible. And 3, 2 is minus 4. But on block, you can actually duck that second hit. So you can see that you can die for that. You're standing 4 by itself. 13 frame high attack, plus 1 on hit. Minus 8 on block. You can do 4, 3, but that's specifically on counter hit, where it's guaranteed. Because as you saw there, if you do 4, 3, minus 14. However, if you land the 3 by itself, knocks down for a follow-up. Guaranteed forward, forward, 3. Next up, we have 3 plus 4. A 20 frame jumping double mid. Pretty nice. Uh, as you can see, it's plus 23 on hit into stance right in front of your opponent. So you can kind of pressure them with a stance right here. And block, 0 into stance, which means you get to block and not suffer for going into stance on block. Forward 3, 4. 17 frame mid high attack. On hit, this forward 3 is minus 4. 
but you can delay the follow-up. As you can see there. And of course the follow-up on block is minus one. Uh, it's plus one, sorry. On block this is minus 11 though, which kind of sucks. But again, if you throw out the second hit and your opponent blocks it, plus one. But what you're hoping for here is to actually use this move at a bit of a distance. Because if you counter hit it, guaranteed into a 1-2-2 two, two follow-up guaranteed as well. You can also blue spark that second hit by doing quarter circle forward four. So it gives you 52 uh, compared to just getting 50. Yeah. So two more damage if you want to try going for that. I will say though, landing this up the 1-2-2 two, two here can be a bit awkward because of the recovery. Down forward one, 13 frame mid, plus two on hit. Minus five on blocks so are not terrible. You can do down forward one, two, which is plus four on hit. Minus four on block, but again, the second hit is a high, so you can duck that. You also have down forward one, three, which is minus 13 on block. Natural on counter hit, knocks your opponent away from you at plus 10, so it doesn't really do much there. But the three by itself, Count hit launches into full combo. Next up, we have down forward two. Oh, well, I didn't get down forward two. What the fuck? Down forward two. 15 frame mid. If you watched this week on Tech It episode one, you may have seen someone's salty rant about how down forward two is a wildly inconsistent. Here's one of them. Lydia's down forward two doesn't work the same way as other characters. A down forward two automatically takes her into stance on hit or on block. So, even Kazuya's does something on counter hit. Lydia's just gives her plus frames there, which does guarantee a follow up. But yeah, on hit, plus 11 into stance. On block, neutral into cat stance. And on counter hit, guarantees cat stance 3. Next, we have down forward 3, a 14 frame mid, plus 5 on hit, as you can see. On block, minus 8. And it sucks. You do have down forward 3, 4, but that's minus 12 on block. Unhit guarantees a forward, forward 1 plus 2. As you can see there, you can get a clean hit with forward, forward 1 plus 2. Slightly more damage. The full thing on counter hit, though, can be pretty damaging. Look at that, 58. 64 with the, with the clean hit as well. Town forward 4, another 15 frame mid. Plus 6 on hit. Minus four on block. You can kind of use this with down forward four, four, which is uh, says a 12 frame high, but it's not exactly because of the input. And this knocks down on hit for plus 15. On block, it's plus six though. Down forward three plus four, a 22 frame homing mid, kind of slow. But it is plus 12 on hit, I guess to make up for it being kind of slow. Minus nine on block. Uh, Kind of gets the job done as a as a homing move, I guess. Next we have down two, which is probably Lydia's best low. Because we're moving into the lows now. And they all kind of suck. As you can see, it's minus four on hit. It's an 18 frame low that is minus four on hit. I think it does have some evasion to it. But that doesn't really make up for the minus four. On block, minus 14. Kazuya launches you for this. On counter hit, you get while standing... 4-2 into stance. Or you get full crouch 2 heat engager for 29 damage. Down 3 is also probably one of Lydia's best lows. As you can see, minus 5 on hit though because of follow-ups. Which are not natural, by the way. But as you can see, down 3, 1, minus 3 on block. Down 3 by itself is minus 16. You get launched for this if your opponent blocks it. It, 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 her lows suck. I don't know how else to say it. Her lows are just ass. A counter hit, though, you get the full thing guaranteed, which knocks your opponent down like that. Do keep in mind, though, the down three on hit will jail your opponent into the first, well, into the one input. So you can see on block, it doesn't jail them, but on hit, it actually jails them into the. Down back two, a 16 to 17 frame mid. You're yeah, mostly gonna probably get it at 16, I guess, sometimes 17. It's Kinda hard to actually get it at 17. Plus seven on hit. 
Minus seven on block. It's it's like an okay mid to be throwing out. It's kind of slow though when you have something like this. Or you're down forward one. Down back three. Another shitty low. <laughs> Uh, it's homing at least. Doesn't really have fantastic range to it, as you can see. I get. <laughs> Lydia's lows kind of suck, man. On hit, plus seven into stance right in front of your opponent. On counter hit, auto follows up, leaves you at minus ten right in front of your opponent there. If your opponent pushes buttons, you can kind of launch them or something there as well. Now on block, as I showed earlier, it says minus eleven. It is not minus 11. Because you're going into starts, you can get launched to that shit. Down back four, another low that's just kind of shit. It's a, it's a 22 frame low that is neutral on hit. It's, it's neutral on counter hit as well. It doesn't do anything special. At a block, it's minus 13. That one is a pretty decent 18 frame heat engager. As you can see. Plus two on block as well. You can kind of like sidestep back one if you want. Next up, we have back three one, 17 frame double mid. The back three by itself is plus four on hit. Back three one plus five on block. The first hit is minus seven. Second hit is minus 11. And uh, it's not that terrible, honestly. It's, it's also something that's going to work like your forward three, where you want to have a bit of a distance and then throw it out. Lydia's lows might suck, but her mids are pretty damn good. Also, if the one counter hits by itself, it leaves you at a true plus 14. Which means you can political stalk. Or if you don't trust the political storm, you can 1-2-2. Two, two. Next up, we have back 4, which is a 16 frame high homing attack. Plus 6 on hit. Really nice. Counter hit, it knocks down for a guaranteed follow-up. Only minus three on block, which is infinitely better than this shit, I'm not gonna lie. It's like, has slightly better range, I guess. Maybe they both just have shit range and I'm not, I'm not really seeing it. No, no, this one has slightly better range. It does want you die if it's blocked. This one, not so much. Although it's a high, which means your opponent can duck it. Back 1 plus 2, 20 frame mid power crush knocks down on hit. Minus 13 on block. It's decently good. Up forward 4, 15 frame hop kick. Always good to have a hop kick, but this one doesn't have a massive amount of reach, as you can see. And it also auto bounds on hit, which does kind of suck and give you some kind of weird combos. But this is going to be like your usual whiff punisher, I guess, is this. But be careful though, minus five on block into stance. And like I showed before, from holding back, I become minus 20. I have no fucking clue why. Next up, we have forward forward two, which is probably Lydia's like main move. It wouldn't be a stretch to say this is like her core move. That's, this is what you're gonna be using all the time. Plus 15 on hit into stance, which is it's just a really good move. On block, plus five into stance, which might seem amazing at first, but it actually isn't, like, super amazing. It's amazing in the fact that you're plus five. If your opponent is kind of button-happy, you can probably catch them with Power Crush. But most of the time, you may just want to block with this plus five. Or if your opponent isn't as button-happy and they kind of like to block, that's when you can pressure them a little bit. On counter-hit, this becomes plus 17 on hit. So it guarantees either a horse stance one, which is plus 16 into the next stance, or a horse stance two, which is like an auto throw animation that takes you into heat, into heaven and up. However, in heat, this is always plus 17, regardless. Also in heat, this move gets a reversal break effect. So if Kazia tries to power crush, if I can time this. Point. So if your opponent is trying to power crush, you break it. Now, like I said earlier, this plus five from Lydia's forward forward two isn't as amazing as it seems. You might think it's fantastic, but this stance right here, horse stance, has five moves that you can do out of it. I want you to watch what happens here. Move number one. Cause your dick jab. Move number two. 
How's your dick, chap? Move number three. How's your dick, chap? Move number four. How's your dick, chap? Move number five. You jump over the dick, chap. Four out of her five moves, they lose to a dick, chap. The stances are not like as massively oppressive as you would think, especially on block because of that. Plus five. And four of your five options lose to a dick jab. Kinda sucks. The fact that that is all you get <laughs> really sucks. That's that's it. <laughs> Next up, we have forward forward three. This is a 19-ish frame move. You're probably always going to be getting it at 19, honestly. But again, you have the double forward input as well to consider. But yeah, 19-ish frame move. Mid launcher on hit. On block, this is minus 14. Which isn't insanely bad, considering this is a launcher with quite a bit of range to it. If your opponent was trying to press or something, okay, whiff. You can technically use forward forward three, it's just a bit faster to use up forward four. Running one is a 13 to 15-ish frame high attack. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't do that much on hit unless you're close to a wall. Yeah, at a wall, you get a combo for it. On block, it's plus six, which is pretty damn good. Uh, you're kind of going to be using your running one along with your forward forward two. Kind of mixing the mid and the high. However, in heat, your running one can take you into heaven and earth. You get follow-ups like that. Or you can hold back to just not get that follow-up. Heaven and earth sounds. Sidestep two, 18 frame mid. Plus five on hit. Kind of forces your yeah, it forces your opponent into crouch. Neutral on block. I think it still forces crouch there. I can't really remember at this point. You would think I would know it doing this since this is the third time of doing this video. You think I remember that, but somehow I don't. I don't even have it written down in my notes. <laughs> but yeah, neutral on block, which is okay. On counter hit, guarantees a down one plus two for 40 damage. Side step four. 16 to 17 frame high attack so it's plus 16 or 17 on hit depending if you like if you got this at 17 frames it's gonna be plus 17 but this is a fake plus 16 i do down forward four there it doesn't it doesn't connect even though it's the right distance for it fake plus 16 those are pressure frames it's literally there for you to do that for, for running one i guess one of the two it's literally pressure frames on block, it is minus six. So not terrible. But on counter hit, it gives you a true plus 14. Plus 14 means... Well, if I can land the damn hit. You can political storm. Just extremely weird timing for this one. So again, if you're not comfortable with that, you can just do one, two, two. Yeah, like, look at that. I thought I did it fast enough, but I did it so Odd timing for the political storm on that one, but it is there. Now that we've covered her good moves, let's move on to Lydia's punishers. And she has some pretty good punishers. Standing, 10 frame. 1, 2, 2, plus 8 into stance. 11 frame. 2, 2, plus 11 into stance. At 12 frame, you have forward 2, 4, which knocks your opponent away from you. Like, that kind of sucks. But at 13 frame, you have standing 4, which isn't that good. But you also have back 2, 3. 14 frame. You have Political Storm. A very damaging 14 frame, by the way. At 15 frame, you have up forward 4, or you have 3-2. 3-2 might be a bit harder to land, so generally you're probably just going to be doing up forward 4 sometimes, or most of the time. For while standing punishers, for 11 frame, you have 4-2 into stance at plus 8. 12 frame, you have full crouch 2, which is just crouching down forward 2. 13 frame, you have while standing 1, 2, which takes you into stance at plus 11. However, if you're close to a wall, instead of doing 1, 2 into stance, you would do 1, 4 into wall split. For massive damage, 76. 14 frame, you have while standing 3, which knocks the opponent down like this in front of you. You can get some pretty decent damage off that. If you happen to counter hit this move, it auto bounds. Ah, it's in blue spot. And yeah, you can get some decent damage off that as well. And at 15 frame, you have while standing 2, 
Hey! Into full combo. The blue sparks. I decided to include this section because Lydia has a lot of blue spark moves. You have Catstone's 2-2. Two, two, uh, this blue spark, I can never get the timing properly, I'm not gonna lie. Ah, there we go. Catstone's 2-2. Two, two. You also have Running 2, which is probably one of her easiest blue sparks. You have Back 2-3 as a blue spark. You have 3-2 as a blue spark. Uh, her parries as well. A punch parry. This parry, I think, I can't remember. And her low kick, her low parry. They have blue sparks as well, which I can never remember where the timing is to press. So I'm not going to show them, but just know that they have blue sparks. Back three, four, quarter circle forward. One plus two is a blue spark. Political Storm has a blue spark. And of course, Blossom Fury, which has two blue sparks. But which of these do you actually need? They all give extra damage. But the important ones to know would be back three, four, quarter circle, forward one, plus two. And the second part of Blossom Fury. This is the first blue spark in Blossom Fury, which you don't actually need. You can do Blossom Fury without it. It's the second part of Blossom Fury. That back, forward, forward one, plus two. That's the blue spark you need. So those, I would say, are the two important blue sparks that you actually need and actually make a lot of use from. Or maybe if you can't use the Blossom Fury blue spark, at least know this blue spark. It's not in... It's like not insanely hard to do, and it's extremely useful to have this blue spark. But why those two moves in particular, and why am I saying this one here? I missed the blue spark the first time. Why am I saying that that one is actually super important? So same combo again. And this time, we're going to blue spark back 3-4. And you see that? 71 damage, Kazuya actually wall splats there. We can run up and do a political storm there as well. Look at that, 89 damage. That was just with one blue spark, by the way. So remember, the other blue sparks, they do give a bit more damage, and it's really flashy as well. But not all of them are necessary or needed as much as something like this. Because this gives you a wall splat from pretty far away. And it's kind of the same with Blossom Fury as well. It's just that this is more of a damaging combo and uh, as I would say more useful in combos like, like this. So there, for example, that's that's where you're probably getting the most use of, out of Blossom Fury. Sometimes at the wall as well. So at least knowing to do this, and you're pretty much good with Lydia's combos. Just to show you what a blue spark combo looks like though. 95 damage compared to the 89 that we had before with just one blue spark. So you can see that it's, it's just more damage with the more blue sparks that you do. Now it's time to go over the stances. Lydia has four stances. Cat stance, which is back three plus four. Horse stance, which is forward 3 plus 4. Out of both of these stances, if you press forward, you go into stalking wolf stance. And then in heat only, you have access to heaven and earth out of any of your stances by holding up. So let's go over horse stance. Horse stance 1 is a 17 frame high homing power crush. Very decent move. Plus 16 on hit, automatically goes into Stalking Wolf Stance. On block, plus 1, but I... <laughs> the, the plus 1 isn't as great as you would think. I showed it at the start of the video, but I'll show it again. Yeah, this plus 1. Trades with your 15 frame move there. You get it, you're getting launched for your plus 1. Next up, we have Horse Stance 2, which is a 16 frame mid that automatically does that animation, takes you into heat and then into heaven and earth. This move is also minus 10 on block. Horse Stance 3, 22 to 24 frame mid homing attack. Knocks down on hit, get a guaranteed follow up. On block, minus 4. Horse Stance 4, a very slow move. Plus 28 on hit. 
get a guaranteed follow-up stalking wolf too there. Plus eight on block though. And a nice, but again, it's pretty slow. Launches on counter hit. The combo though is uh, kind of odd. Yeah. Pretty damaging though, because it is a counter hit launching start. Four stance, one plus two, which is a 20 frame low. That is minus one on hit. Because we need all Lydia's <laughs> lows to be fucking awful, I guess. <laughs> on block, death. Minus 18. However, we do get a launch on counter hit. Let's see if I can actually remember the combo. Hey, there we go. I don't blue spark. That sucks. Next up, we have cat stance. So cat stance one is a 17 frame mid that knocks down and hit and kind of knocks your opponent away from you. So you're not getting much out of this. Plus 18 though. And this move is minus eight on block. However, on counter hit, guarantees your forward forward one plus two. Cat stance two is a 14 frame high, plus one on hit. Minus 10 on block. You also have cat stance two, two, minus 10 on block as well, not natural. However, on counter hit, it is. You also have cat stance two, three, one. You have to press it pretty fast though. Well, for the first two hits at least. As you can see here, two, three is also minus 10 on block. And so is your 2, 3, 1. However, your 1 input is delayable. And that's because of that. <laughs> if the 1 hits, it knocks the opponent back like that. It's kind of more threatening at the wall rather than out in the open because that wall splats. Cat stance 3. 13 to 14 frame high heat engager. On block, it is minus 4. Cat stance 4. That is a 19 frame low. Plus eight into stance. And of course, on block, it is death because you're minus six going into stance. Does launch on counter hit. Again, leads to the wacky combo. Cat stance one plus two is a 16 frame mid. Knocks your opponent down like that in front of you for plus 27 into wolf stance. Kinda nice. On block, minus three into wolf stance. Which sucks. On counter hit, you do get a follow up. It's just not a fantastic follow-up. Wolf stance. By going into another stance first and then going into that. Uh, or you can do... Quarter circle forward. One plus two, two. Wolf stance one. 23 frame move that knocks the opponent down for a guaranteed follow-up. So there you can get a forward forward one plus two. Unblock. It is plus two. You can charge this move as well, but that becomes way slower if you're charging it. In heat, this move as well goes into heaven and earth. And on block, it goes into heaven and earth at plus 10. Stalking Wolf 2. 15 to 16 frame mid. Flips your opponent over in front of you for plus 22. I don't think you get a guaranteed follow-up here, if I remember right. Minus seven on block, which is pretty good. It's a safe move. Wolf starts three, one. 17 and 26 frame moves. Uh, it's not natural, only minus six on block. And counter hit is natural, knocks down, then of course you're gonna get a forward, forward one plus two follow up there. Stalking wolf four. Probably, you've probably been hit by this. <laughs> That's decent damage. Minus seven on hit. Uh, and on block, I assume you can already guess since it's a low with Lydia. You fucking die. Minus 16. So, heaven and earth one. 18 frame to 19 frame mid power crush launcher. On block, minus 11. Heaven and earth two, which is a 13 frame mid. As you can see, it knocks your opponent away from you like that. But let's, let me show you what it does. <laughs> At heat state three. Bye, Kazuya! <laughs> That's kind of dumb, actually. More damage and it flings your opponent across the screen if it hits. Also, wall splats. Of course, high heat state, you're going to be doing a bit more damage. 
and it's also plus six on block, which is pretty damn good. And then, of course, we have the unblockable. Doesn't matter what it's unblock, because it's unblockable, but on a hit, a lot of damage. And just kind of smacks your opponent onto the floor there. You don't, you don't get much after that. And of course, the higher your heat state, the more damage you're going to deal with it. Also, at my notes, I have here hyper-specific combo because I was going to show the specific stuff you can do with the Heaven and Earth 1 spike at the wall and things like that. It kind of sucks that we lost that combo now. Damn, there goes my cool combo stuff, I guess. So the basics of your stances are just pressure and mix-up. But you never want to go into a stance on block, like I showed before, even that plus one doesn't really mean anything overall. But you can see, it's just stance into stance into stance into mix-up into mix-up into mix-up. That's kind of what you want to be doing with your stances. Although it is pretty dangerous when you're going into the second stance. And especially this shit on block, you die for that. And like I showed before, even your forward forward two on block. Plus five, you have five options that you can do and four of them lose to a dick jab. <laughs> There's also hyper-specific stuff where, like I showed earlier as well, you can heaven and earth your way out of things. But the bomb and cars here goes for something like well standing 2. We can heaven and earth our way out of that. So it's, it's kind of like hyper-specific things that you need to know if you're in heat. You can heaven and earth your way out of certain moves, but not all of them. And heaven and earth, for some reason, will always lose to a dick jab. So it's it's... It's stuff that I also have to learn as well, like what moves can I actually heaven and earth my way out of once I go into a stance and what moves can I not. So that's going to take some time to learn. I, I, I have to learn all of that myself as well. But I guess don't get too bothered by it most of the time. If your opponent blocks this, they're probably going to be going for like a well standing two or something. So just know you can heaven and earth your way out of it. And now it's combo time, but we don't have the heaven and earth combos anymore. Big sad. On spike people at the wall and then political storm anymore. So I would say Lydia has four main launchers, that being 3-2, forward forward three, a while standing two, and of course up forward four, which auto bounds on hit. Uh, in general, her, co her combos aren't super complex. So a basic combo will use like... Uh, which launcher should I use for this? Let's use forward forward three. You can do back two, three, back two, three, down forward, or two, and you can run up and do something there. And that's gonna work here as well. Back two, three, back two, three, down forward, or two. I just don't really like this combo because that can happen. You can whiff your back three, four, quarter circle forward, one plus two there. It does kind of suck. But that combo doesn't work with, with this, obviously, because of the way Kazia crumple stun is being a high doesn't work out too well and of course it doesn't work here either because it's auto bound into stance for up forward four though your basic combo is to go into stalking wolf and then press two and then you do two again back three four cross up go forward one plus two there is a combo that i do which is uh a bit harder you have to actually wait for lydia to get out of the stance and then you can do a running two and then you can do blossom fury there it's way harder to do, so I don't recommend doing this. It's a bit more damaging, you get 63. But because... Like, it's, it's just weird. The stances. Like, you can mistime it and just get this anyway, so you might as well just go for something like this. Less damage, but... We're, we're going for consistency here. This would be much easier than trying to do this, wait, and then running to. Or even forward forward do there. Like, it's just a bit more damage when you get it anyways. So again, for your up forward four, I would say just stick to this. Simple, easy. You're hardly gonna drop that. But I do recommend using forward forward two in combos. It leads to a bit more damage. And makes the combo a bit easier to adjust as well. And the combo doesn't change except for the case of up forward four, where you have to wait for the stance and then do that. And again, it's an auto bound. But your combo, for the most part, from all of your launches here, will not change. Even works as your 3-2. So the combo is forward, forward, 2. And then you're, you, of course, go into stance automatically. You press 2 again. Then you're going to do down, back, 2. Down, forward, forward, 2. And then you can dash up and do your back 3-4 quarter circle forward. So 
here it is in action. Okay, 72 damage. Compared to uh, what is the combo that people are using here? Yeah, comparing it to this, where you have a massive chance of whiffing, I would say this is far better. And again, works here as well from your wild standing too. I didn't blue spark there, but you get the point. And of course, from your 3 2 as well. Oh, there we go. Wall splat with the blue spark. Nice. But why am I saying this combo is adjustable? What do I mean by that? Well, let's take a look at this combo again. See there, we don't get the wall on this stage in particular. However, you can just jab. 69 damage already. You might think that's less damage, but we got the wall, which means we can run up. Unfortunately, Political Storm, if you fuck up that first hit, doesn't pick the opponent up off the floor anymore, which, which sucks. We've lost combo damage because of that. A bit of consistency there. But if you land it, 89 damage. Also, if you don't want to, like, struggle with the dash jabs here, or maybe you do struggle with doing dash jabs there, can suck sometimes. Online play, bit of lag. You can actually just do this instead. Cat stance three. I was like, horse stance three. Into heat. I didn't mean to heat dash there, but you get the idea. You're just going to do this. make it easier to show off there just like that so again i would say it's not really necessary but i do recommend learning the forward forward two combos again they aren't super difficult either forward forward two two down back two down forward four two not super difficult and they are pretty damaging free pull to call off, to pull off as well but uh, you might struggle with the up forward four one i know i just ignore doing that sometimes as well because of how awkward it is and it's just for a bit more damage. Not really worth dropping the entire combo for. Now, there was quite a bit, well, quite a bit more combos and stuff that I had in the original video that I deleted by accident, which still sucks. I wish I still had it so I could show, like, the combo stuff that you could do in Heat, where you go into stance, heaven and earth, slam the opponent at the wall and stuff to get the spike, political storm picking up from the floor. Uh, you could heat dash your political storm and then still pick the opponent up again and combo. It was pretty cool. It was hyper specific. You were spending your resources and stuff, so I don't understand why they removed that. It sucks so much. It, honestly, it just sucks. <laughs> there probably is some other stuff with Lydia's combos, like maybe using Blossom, Fu Blossom Fury and stuff in places. I just I haven't learned all of her combos yet myself. I'm still just sad that we lost the Heaven and Earth stuff. I do need to mess around with the combos a bit more. Maybe I'll find something else. But I feel like this is just simple and effective. You know? Simple, effective, highly damaging. What more do you need out of combo? Okay, 95. Anyway, if you liked, leave a like. Just like if you didn't. Uh, rip heaven and earth spike combos. They will be missed. <laughs> They were, they were they would deal ridiculous damage though but again they will be missed i kind of understand why they got rid of them also don't understand why they got rid of them because it's so hyper specific but anyway i hope you guys have fun playing lydia the queen of blues box and hopefully you learned something from this video as well